I am here with metal band Axion. How's it going today? It's going fantastic. And what brings y'all to Houston? Metal. Metal. It's time to tear it down. So what are your latest projects for 2012? I see. Metal. <laughs> there is not too many women in metal. So what do you think about the metal here in Houston, Texas? I think it definitely is open to having more women in the, uh, the scene. I hope to tear down that wall a little bit. So how long have you been in this scene? Uh, since the summer, actually. I trained as a, an operatically trained musician in college, and I always was interested in the music, but never really hit the scene until I met these wonderful guys. Wow, so how, how's it been like for you? Um, great. I actually, I'm the newest member. Just joined about the middle of December, so. And what is your position in the band? Uh, drummer. Drummer. So how long have you been a drummer? Uh, 16, 17 years. So what brought that whole experience for you? I grew up in the Houston metal scene, going to see uh, bands like Hellstar and things like that when I was five, six years old. Really great. And who were some of your greatest influences? Oh, man. Uh, the list goes on. That's, uh, as far as, I guess, Houston scene goes, uh, Russell DeLeon, people like that. Um, of course, uh, all, any metal drummer, really, I mean, uh, I'm very open when it comes to that. So this gentleman over here, what is your position in the band and your name? Um, I am Archangel. Uh, I'm the bassist uh, and shared lead singer along with the Siren. Um, Run down my influences. I'm probably the uh, oldest one of the bunch, so my influences range from early metal of Megadeth, uh, old school Metallica, um, Iron Maiden. I try and bring that feel along with the modern metal that we're uh, pumping out and producing now. Um, we feel that we have a good blend. Uh, we take everything from classic Beethoven all the way up to the new era of today and mix it together for one great sound. Get closer over here. Who are you? I'm a uh, ghost. I play uh, guitar. Uh, most of my influences are Megadeth, Metallica, Iron Maiden, Nevermore. Uh, just kind of... Like, Get a little closer. Don't be shy. Like you said, uh, just a bunch of different influences. You know, Beethoven, everything. So just put it all together and see what we got. We have Axion. So. And you know what? Y'all have put on quite a show here at the Concert Pub North in Houston, Texas. What brought on all these crazy costumes? I want to know about that because I was like so like, wow, I have not seen that here in this Houston scene. What brought that on to you guys? Well, that for the exact reason you said, you've never seen it before. Uh -huh. And so, who do you think of when you hear costumes on stage, a crazy show, mm -hmm. something you'll never forget? Axion. Axion. And this lovely lady, oh, this dress, what inspired you this dress? Actually, it was a creation out of my closet. Once they decided they wanted to do Alice in Wonderland, I thought to myself, hmm, I don't own anything blue, but I sure do have a red skirt and about five corsets at home. Let's see what I can do. Well, it certainly does look nice, and you are definitely making it for the women in metal and rock, you know, and you definitely sing very well. I really did enjoy that. That was a good presentation. It's the first time I've seen you guys, and I really enjoyed it, and I'm just really excited about you, know, you guys' future. Your future seems very great here in Houston and may um, go elsewhere. Where elsewhere will y'all go Where in the going? future? Where else are y'all going? We're looking, we're looking to go worldwide. Worldwide. Um, the music that we have right now, we feel is a taste of something different okay. versus the same political style music that you actually have out there that is run by this is what the people want. No, the people want to enjoy a show. They want to come and they want to be able to rock from front to back. You come see Axion, you're going to rock from front to back. The costumes was an idea that came to mind. There are several bands such as Slipknot. They have costumes, Guar. But the thing is, is they're themed exactly the same for every single show. We decided to toss that up and add in a variation by doing it differently. At Christmas, we did a Charlie Brown Christmas. Oh, uh, Halloween nice. show, we did the Wizard of Oz. Okay. We like to toss things up because we want to make people come in and enjoy a show. Not come see a concert where dudes are standing there playing music. We you said to toss up. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That. Oh, my gosh. 
He said toss up. Oh my gosh. I told you I'm old school. Yeah. I'm the grandpa. That's good. I'm the grandpa of the band, okay? I'm the oldest one here. This is actually a, uh, a birthday celebration. Uh, you know, for myself, my birthday's in a couple days. That was what the exterior of the show is. Uh, right now, we're actually, even currently, sponsored by a couple local area, you know, shops and stuff. One of them being Brutal by Design Vinyl Works. Um, they create custom shirts for us. Can um, we show that to the viewer? Here we go. Good. Look at that. Isn't yeah. that nice? And what yeah, about, yeah. let me feel, is that, oh, that's some great quality there. How can we find this online? Um, you can be found online at BrutalByDesign.com. Uh, Brutal by Design is also on Facebook. Um, the other company that helps sponsor us is a company called Iron Fangware, um, which is a design that is actually tattooed down here on my arm. Oh, wow. Can we show that to the viewer as well? Oh, look at that with a nice little red drop. That is so sweet. Nice. Yeah. Creating, okay. Creating a clothing wear. They help sponsor us. So we're just here to change the music scene. Ooh. It hasn't changed in years. We're here to bring back something that used to happen back in the day where when you went, you got excited. Now, if you buy a ticket, go to a show, you can go see a national act. They're awesome. They're great. But a few days later, that's it. We want to leave you to that point of when you buy a ticket and you're done watching Axion, you want to go to the next show. You can't wait till they come back to town because the performance is different. It's something that's no longer in existence anymore. So what are uh, one of your best shows coming for this summer for 2012? Um, right now, I'd have to say the one we're looking forward to is going to be April 7th. Okay. Uh, we're going to be down at Arcadia on 1960. We're okay. going to be headlining the show, um, and we're going to put into it. Okay. I mean, we're going we're gonna to tear the walls down on that place one more time, same way we did tonight. Oh, absolutely. So, one more time, if you can tell the viewer how to find you on the web. Well, Facebook, facebook.com slash axionband. Also, Reverb Nation for the charts, for the metal charts in Houston, ReverbNation.com slash Axion Band. All right. And don't forget our YouTube page. Uh-oh, you YouTube. Yeah. Don't forget YouTube. YouTube.com YouTube slash Axion Official. Wow, thank you guys so much. 